What if I told you there is a programming language once dismissed as too niche is now quietly powering everything from web browsers to rocket ships. Rust's rise has been quiet, almost stealthy. Today, we'll uncover how this unassuming language went from outsider to indispensable and why its design choices are reshaping the foundations of software development. Here's the twist. In an era where AI is automating away repetitive coding jobs, Rust is the kind of skill that cannot be replaced. It demands deep human reasoning about safety, performance and concurrency, making it one of the most future-proof paths for developers seeking certainty in a time of job loss. This isn't just about syntax and code. It is about how engineers across the world are finally starting to trust their platform and tools. Picture the late 2000s. Internet is booming, mobile apps are exploding, and technology feels unstoppable. But behind the glossy apps and websites, the software itself is creaking. Programs crash without warning. Security vulnerabilities expose millions of users. Engineers spend sleepless nights chasing down memory leaks and race conditions. The very foundations of the digital age are built on shaking grounds. At the same time, inside Mozilla, the same organization that built Firefox, a radical idea takes shape. What if there is a way to get the speed of C and C++, languages that dominate system programming, but without the chaos they bring? What if safety and performance were not opposites? They were partners. The idea becomes Rust. At first, it seemed too ambitious. Rust promises memory safety without a garbage collector and concurrency without data races. For decades, Programmers accepted that speed came with danger, dangling pointers, buffer overflows, double fees. Rust dares to break that trade-off. But with bold promises come skeptics. Why build yet another system's language? Who would use it? And could it really deliver? Early versions of Rust felt intimidating. The borrow checker, a set of strict compiler rules that enforces safe memory access, terrifies newcomers. Compile errors pile up like a brick wall. Some walk away frustrated but others persist and they begin to see the brilliance behind the difficulty. The borrow checker isn't the enemy, it's a guardian. Once your program compiles, it's battle hardened. Crashes vanish, bugs dissolve. Rust makes you sweat at compile time so that you can sleep at runtime. Now these early adapters, curious system programmers and passionate tinkerers carry Rust through its infancy. They see beyond the pain. They glimpse a language that could redefine the future of software itself. To understand Rust's rise, we need to look at its DNA. Four core pillars set it apart from every other language. Think of ownership as a set of rules how memory lives and dies. In C, you manage memory manually. Mistakes are easy. In garbage collected languages, you never know when cleanup will happen. Rust finds a middle ground. Each value has exactly one owner. You can lend references to it, but the compiler keeps track of who can read, who can write, and when it's safe. Entire classes of bugs, use after free, null dereference, double free, are impossible. And it's not just safety, it's peace of mind. Multi-core processors are everywhere, yet most programming languages struggle to use them efficiently. Writing safe multi-threaded programming in C++ feels like juggling with knives while blindfolded. Rust changes that. Its type system enforces thread safety at compile time. If two threads can touch the same data, the compiler forces synchronization. Concurrency stops feeling terrifying. It becomes fearless. Many languages give you expensive tools, but hide performance costs. Rust does the opposite. High-level features, traits, iterators, pattern matching, compiled down to efficient machine code. You get elegance without losing a single cycle of performance. The abstraction disappears, leaving only speed. Garbage collection is convenient, but it comes at a cost. Unpredictable pauses while the program cleans up memory. Rust takes a different path. Memory is freed automatically the moment it goes out of scope guided by ownership rules. No hidden pauses, no unpredictable slowdowns, just smooth, consistent performance. Put these pillars together and Rust 
feels more than a language. It feels like a fortress. Developers say it gives them confidence a rare commodity in programming, and the world has noticed. In Stack Overflow's developer service, Rust was the most loved language seven years in a row, from 2016 to 2022. And Rust didn't just appear on the list, it dominated it. For years, Rust is admired, but it's niche. Companies hesitate, then something shifts. Industry giants, with billions at stake, start to notice. In Microsoft, decades of Windows development have left scars. Memory safety bugs that attackers exploit again and again. Rewriting components in Rust slashes vulnerabilities. For a company under constant siege, Rust isn't an experiment, it's survival. AWS runs half the internet. Performance and reliability aren't luxuries, they are the business. Amazon adopts Rust for high-performance infrastructure, including the firecracker MicroVM, powering serverless platforms. Here, microseconds matter. Billions rely on Android daily. Low-level code written in C and C++ leaves users exposed to vulnerabilities. Google introduces Rust into the Android platform, cutting entire categories of memory bugs out of existence. And that meant safety for billions of devices worldwide. These endorsements sent shock waves. If the titans of tech trust Rust for their crown jewels, the rest of the industry takes note. Startups adopt it for speed. Enterprises adopt it for safety. Communities spring up, building frameworks and libraries that make Rust more approachable. Web developers get Aptix and Axum. Full stack teams embrace Rocket. Desktop developers build with Tori. Each new framework removes friction. Each new library lowers the barrier. Rust is no longer a niche, it's a movement. Today, Rust is everywhere, often in places where you don't notice. But where reliability matters, Rust compiles to WebAssembly, running near-native code in the browser. Complex apps, video editors, simulations, 3D games run seamlessly online. Rust pushes the limit of what the web can do. In a world where a single bug can cost millions, safety is priceless. That's why projects like Polkadot and Substrate use Rust to build their consensus engines and runtimes. Reliability becomes a competitive advantage. Engines like Bevy prove that Rust can handle the brutal demands of real-time graphics. Developers praise not just performance, but the joy of coding without constant crashes. Indie creators especially love Rust. It gives them the power without the pitfalls. Utilities like Ripcrep and FD redefine productivity. They're lightning fast memory safe and trusted by millions. Once you try them, the old tools feel ancient. The results are measurable. Companies report fewer outages, faster systems and reduced costs. Developers report confidence. Rust isn't just hype, it's impact. It saves time, money and sanity. And perhaps most importantly, it saves users from bugs that never make it to production. Where the rust goes from here, the momentum is unstoppable. Tooling improves constantly. Rust Analyzer powers intelligent IDEs. The compiler's error messages are famously friendly. Async I.O., once complex, is now straightforward with async await and the Tokyo runtime. The developer experience that once felt like punishing now feels like empowering. Perhaps the biggest milestone, the Linux kernel now adopts rust. For decades, the kernel was written exclusively in C. Now the Rust for Linux effort introduces a new language into the heart of open source infrastructure. It's the first in decades and it's Rust. Meanwhile, the governance strengthens under the Rust Foundation, ensuring that Rust isn't tied to one company, but supported by many. Universities begin teaching Rust. Boot camps add it to their curriculums. The talent pool grows. What was once a niche experiment is now a career path. The trajectory is clear. Rust is expanding into browsers, operating systems, embedded devices, robotics, fintech, and aerospace. Anywhere reliability matters, Rust will follow. Its rise may be quiet, but its presence will be everywhere. Now the big question is, in an IT market shaken by automation and AI-driven job cuts, Rust skills 
are standing out as a hedge against uncertainty. Demand for system level engineers is rising, not shrinking. The Filtra Rust Jobs report shows a steady increase in global Rust job openings. For example, B in Crypto's 2024 salary report lists the average US Rust developer salary at around $171,000 per year, higher than many peers with comparable experience in Python or JavaScript. In a world where repetitive coding tasks may be automated, Rust shines because it requires deep understanding of performance, memory, and concurrency. Skills that cannot be easily replaced by AI. Learning Rust isn't just about picking another language. It's about positioning yourself at the intersection of safety, performance, and reliability, where human expertise is still indispensable. The silent revolution has already begun. If this deep dive opened your eyes to Rust's journey, hit like, subscribe, and the bell button. And tell me in the comment section below, have you tried Rust? And what was your experience? As we'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.